Welcome to Pakistan, we're Luke and Sabrina, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're in the capital city of Islamabad. We're going to be eating some desi food, which is local food, but we're also gonna be sampling some of the Western options here in Islamabad. It's a melting pot of cultures and traditions in a very progressive city, so there's a lot to see and do. It's gonna be a great episode with our friends from Manaki, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Pakistani and Western food. So we're sitting in the beautiful courtyard here at the Serena Islamabad. The birds are singing and we've got ourselves a nice breakfast, some, some pastries here, chocolatines and croissants, coffee, an omelet and uh, orange juice. And I just love the setting here. So it's gonna be a perfect way to start our day before we hit the streets of Islamabad. So nice light breakfast. We saved room specifically because we're going to head to one of the many cafes that Islamabad has to offer and uh, have a little bit extended breakfast this morning. We are here at Burning Brownie, which is a really cool cafe here in Islamabad. And like we said earlier, we're going to be trying some different options while we're here because there's so many good options here in Islamabad for Western or different types of cuisine. So that's what we're here for. We're gonna have some amazing coffee and really good treats. So wait till you see what we've ordered. So this is a really chill cafe and they have some seriously good looking desserts. We've ordered up a bunch of different things and they brought out even more. And uh, first of all, Sulmin here from Manaki has this beautiful latte. Look at that yeah. latte art, that looks amazing. Sabrina's got herself a macchiato and then I've got myself a flat white. And then we've got a bunch of different cakes. So the first one is this Biscoff and they've cut them in these like long shapes, which is kind of interesting. This is their fudge, which I've heard is quite popular. And then back here, we've got this one called uh, Caramel Crunch, and you can see crystallized caramel on the top, and then their burnt cheesecake. And wow, this looks seriously good. Who would have known this is here in Islamabad? I'm pumped to dig in. Okay, I'm gonna start with this, this Caramel Crunch, and whoa, that is super soft. Let's try. Mm. It's really crunchy on the top, and it's really smooth, soft on the inside, and not overly sweet at all. Mm. That's awesome, it kind of reminds me of like a tiramisu. So they brought this one out complimentary for us. This is their burnt cheesecake, and I've heard it's really good. Let's try this one. <laughs> That's heavenly. Just a slight tangy hit from the cheese, and then you get that kind of smoky burnt layer on the top. Okay, I'm gonna have a serious sugar high after this. <laughs> We're just trying all of their different sweets here, and this one is the, the fudge. really rich but again not very sweet totally different than any like traditional Pakistani sweets which tend to be quite sweet these are actually light so this is their biscoff and check this out there's one two three four five six layers there of different things and then topped with this crumble too oh man the sweets here at Bernie Brandy are absolutely incredible and so cool to have it in such a nice uh, chill setting Man, they're all so good. Actually, that one might be my favorite. Nice and crunchy in the bottom. Amazing service, such a nice change to all the traditional desi food that we usually have here in Pakistan. And we want to show you some alternative options and all of the local restaurants because there is a lot of good stuff here in Islamabad, especially like burning brownie. So we're sticking with our Western theme for lunch today. We've come to a restaurant called Howdy's and they're supposedly serving the best burger here in Islamabad. So we're gonna go get ourselves a nice juicy burger for lunch. Thank wow, you thank so you. Much. All right. How many bouquet of flowers this is that is Pakistan? Then? Number three. <laughs> this one is gorgeous. Look at it. Really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
So Howdy is a Western themed restaurant, kind of cowboy style, and they specialize in their charcoal grilled burgers. So we've ordered up their uh, specialty. It's called Son of a Bun, which is a great name, <laughs> and I'm super excited to try it out. <laughs> awesome. So this, this has got two beef patties, double cheese, and the turkey strips, and all the veggies. Wow. Whoa. How are we going to do this? <laughs> Go to sleep after. <laughs> Food coma. Look at this absolute beauty. That is massive. So we've got, yeah, two patties, veggies on the bottom. There's turkey strips in it. And the bun is so ridiculously soft. That is a thing of beauty. Look at all that cheese. I'm so ready to dig into this. Oh, man. Oh. The bun is so fluffy and soft, and then those veggies are super crisp and fresh. And although it looks like a, like it looks like it would be a greasy burger with all that cheese, it actually feels a, a little bit lighter than it looks. And then you get the nice smoky char coal flavor on there. Oh man, that's phenomenal. I love this sauce. Mm. Okay, so this is their fish burger, and it has like a cheese, look at that, oh man. It has a cheese patty on the inside, like a fried cheese cutlet, and then two uh, fish mixed with prawn grilled uh, burgers, and then some lettuce and stuff on the bottom, and that beautiful bun. Oh, so cheesy. So both of the burgers definitely have a little bit of a local Pakistani flavor, some spice in there, but they're also just true burgers. Look at that, super cheesy. And they're just super juicy burgers and there's gotta be like a sweet chutney on this one. Mm. Oh man. Whoa, that is juicy. Salt Bay has nothing on this. So that was Howdy, the best burger in Islamabad. I think I'm confident saying that. That was a seriously damn good burger. And if you're looking for a Western option, that is a great restaurant. They've got all kinds of different items. And we really wanted to show you guys some Western options because if you're coming to Pakistan, you're eating a lot of Desi local food. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit much and you want to switch it up. So we don't normally do this, but I thought it was a good uh, change. But tonight we're going to have some more Desi food, but we're going to take a break back at the Serena and uh, build up an appetite again after those big burgers. <laughs> Okay, we've hit the streets tonight in Islamabad and we've come straight to this restaurant called New Kabul Restaurant. And they're serving all kinds of different Kabul style Afghan foods and they have a massive kebab lineup right here. It's all cooking on charcoal. They've got chicken, lamb, beef, uh, chicken tea kebab. I can see a little bits of uh, tomato on there. It just looks incredible, super smoky, all on charcoal, smells awesome and this place is super packed out, so I'm excited to try it out. Besides just the kebabs, they have plenty of other options, and when you hear this noise, you know that it is the kata cut, which is basically all the organs and they're all mixed up and minced up with uh, tomatoes and all kinds of things. And then it's served like almost like a curry. And they've also got karahi, I can see uh, more kebabs. This place is just uh, crazy and it's such a smoky restaurant. And this little alley is just full of uh, flames and smoke and delicious smelling food. One thing I love about Pakistan is at these kebab restaurants, you have these massive troughs of charcoal. They've got to be, I don't know, 12, 15 feet long, and you can put hundreds of kebabs on there at one time. So 
So we've got three of the dishes that we've ordered and the first is this beautiful plate of rice. This is the Afghani style pulao. So there's carrots on top and then all these dried raisins and then the rice, there should be some meat underneath. And then we've got two different uh, types of skewers here. The first is the Afghani tikka and then the second is the Afghani kebab, this one right here. But I gotta go in, first of all, for this. Oh, I can feel there's a big piece of meat underneath there, hiding underneath. Can you see that? There we go. So let me get some of that meat and some of the toppings. Mm. It's such an interesting ingredient to have those raisins in there. It's a little bit sour and sweet at the same time. They just burst with juice. The rice is all oily and covered in all the flavors. I didn't really get any of the meat though, so let me go back in here and pull some of the meat apart. Oh man, that is super tender feeling. Perfect. And then I love these carrots. They're like a red carrot. And you gotta make sure you get a little bit of those raisins too. Mm. That is phenomenal. I could eat that whole plate of rice, I think. Okay, I'm gonna try the Afghan style tikka. You can see the piece of fat there. It looks like there's quite a bit of cumin. I've got some naan bread. Let me pull this off. And I gotta grab a piece of that fat too. Let's try it like this. Wow, the piece of fat completely melts in your mouth right away. And it's quite salty actually, and just a little bit of cumin. And the dominant flavor is just all that smoke. And I gotta have it with a little bit of uh, raita. So there's raita and there's also a chutney. Raita is this yogurt here. Have a little bit of that. Oh man, that is just super, super good. Oh man. So this is the Afghan kebab. It's slightly different. It's minced meat and uh, there's a couple pieces of uh, tomatoes on there as well. Let me pull off one of those. A little bit of raita. Mm. Mm. Similarly as good, but I would say it's a little bit drier. And uh, I like that tomato in there. It gives a nice burst of fresh, uh, sweet tomato flavor. Yum, what a meal so far. And oh, I just noticed there's another dish on the table over here. This looks like the karahi. Is uh -huh. it chicken karai? Uh, no, mutton. this is mutton also mutton karai, okay. yes. Wow, let me grab some of this. Bring it over to my plate, and you can see all that tomato in there too. And karahi is just the name of the, the device that they're cooking it in, but it's also a specific dish. Oh man, that's nice and hot still, super tender. Oh my god. Ah, good. So that's a totally different flavor profile than the pulao or the kebabs. It's all that vegetable flavor. There's onions in there, tomatoes in there. I mean, the meat is just cooked perfectly, which is a common theme here at New Capital Restaurant. All the meat's super tender. That was some seriously good food. Nice change up from the Western options we were having this morning to some classic local Desi food. And this place is absolutely packed. And right around the corner, there's a really interesting chai spot. So we're gonna go try that out. So this chai place is doing things really interesting. What they do is they have a tandoor oven with these clay cups inside of the oven. Some of them are heated just a little bit and then some are actually completely red hot. So he grabs one of those red hot chai cups out of there and then puts it in the pot with the tea and lets it kind of boil away. And I guess that's adding a flavor. I'm not really sure, we'll find out once we taste it. But he boils it in this cup and it overflows 
flows back into the pot and then uh, he serves it into the cups that are just warmed up a little bit. They're all clay cups. I'm really excited to try it out and see if it tastes any different. Our last stop of the night is for some midnight chai at Tendor Junction. You can get a couple different kinds here, but one that I've never had before is the kind that I've ordered. It's cinnamon, and you have ginger? I have ginger too. Ginger's a really nice one to have as well. It's really soothing. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Nice. That's lovely. I think that the cinnamon creates more of an aroma than an actual flavor, but the chai itself is really good. It is really yeah. good. It's yeah. really nicely made, it's fresh. It's just the right kind of thing to wash off the palate after the entire day of eating also. Yeah, and we ate a lot today. So <laughs> this is just the perfect way to wrap up a whole day of eating food here in Islamabad. Does it taste any different because of the tandoor, do you think? It does taste a little different because of the matcha. Okay. Yeah, it's always nicer to drink chai from a clay pot than anything else. Islamabad's really good. It, it surprised me. There's a really a lot here. I think a lot of people think Islamabad's just quick stop, mm -hmm. no food, no culture, but really it's got its own thing going on. It's really unique from the rest of the cities in Pakistan. So Absolutely. I think people should really try to come here in Islamabad. They should come to Islamabad and Islamabad's growing by leaps and bounds because it is the center point for people, whether they're traveling up north, whether they're going off to other countries. Yep. Um, so it's growing, as we say, exponentially, and we welcome everyone to Islamabad. Yes, so huge thank you to Sulmeen from Manaki for hosting us in Islamabad for these past two days. If you haven't checked out the last video, I suggest you check it out. All right, that's it for day two here in Islamabad. Another incredible day and awesome to try out something new today, try some of those Western foods. Let us know down in the comments what you thought about that and finishing off the day with some incredible local Desi food. I want to yeah. say a huge thank you to Minaki for partnering with us on our trip here. They are the ultimate resource for everything Pakistan. So if you guys are considering coming to Pakistan, and we highly recommend you do because this is one of our favorite countries in the entire world to travel to, check out Minaki.com. All the information's down in the description box. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel soon. Bye. Bye.